very nice. Oh, and really cool. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Cindy and I are detecting at a, a very old house. Uh, this is from 1775, this house. We've been down in the basement. The owner was uh, kind enough to show us around. Um, and uh, it's, it's a, an extraordinary home. Um, there's a lot of area to detect here and it is such a cool property. Hi Cindy. Hey. And over here we have some barns and stuff that are uh, falling down, but there was a lot of structures on this property, apparently. And as you can see, this goes way back. I'll even zoom a little bit, but it goes way, way back there. And there's a lot over on the left side beyond the house too. So, so um, uh, we're gonna get rolling on this. And see what we find but a very very uh, nice sight and very promising all right guys my first target first very first target oh well, I shouldn't say that my very first target was actually Memorial Penny and my second target obviously you can see it's a buckle a buckle very nice a buckle good. nice Different. I like it Rock it's good. something and I've only been here for what five minutes that's a good sign all right, let's keep going. All right, Cindy, sign of the times. I believe this is part of a harmonica or squeeze box. Yeah, it is. I've never found one quite like that. It's kind of weird the way this is. Very cool. But definitely uh, some type of was, reeded. Yeah, what was that ringing up as? Mmm, 50 on my machine, 50, 52. Almost like a bottle cap. All right, let's keep going. Hey, Cindy, I called you over. Take a look at this thing. I didn't want to really unearth it, but it's like got Rose sides tag. to it. Rose tag, no. Oh. What is it? I don't know. It's got some color to it. I know. That's strange. It's, uh, it's thick. Octagon. It's got looks like eight sides to it at a glance here. Um, looks kind of bronzy, you know? Uh, it's got letters on it? Writing? It does. Let me you know what I'm at the oh, wow. I'm at the light okay. brush it. You got water? Yeah. Do the water first. Alright. All I'm finding over there is pieces of off, off the house. Yeah, I'm out here. Oh, I see something there too. I just saw across the center of it. There's some sort of shape. See it? Yeah, there's a. It looks like the Monticello, you know. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I can see. I can see some uh, details on it. Oh wow! What is that? Oh, there's writing all around the front. Yeah, gonna that need is so your glass. Cool. Oh my gosh! Let me yeah. dry this out a little bit. Okay, I could see a little bit better. Now I got to figure out what it is. <laughs> oh, I hate that, but I'm. I love finding what a stuff. Different relic. That is pretty cool. I've never found anything like this before. That's the other side. Oh, it's got a, it's got a barn on it or something. Look. Oh, it's a building. Yeah. All right, let me look. You dried it off. It says. Last. Least us not 
off. I don't know. That Hang on. Make sense. I'll get a glass out. Stay with us. Home. Wow. Good. That is you want so to read cool. it off and I'll. Yeah. Um, good. Why don't you're you rolling. Read it? Okay. I'm rolling. This is a good luck piece. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'll read it to you. The one side is the sun. Sh it's the sun behind a mountain range. It says, "Good luck, pocket piece, peace, progress, and protection." And the bottom says, "Keep me and prosper." Now the other side is pretty cool. It shows a building. Can you see that, Sin? No, but when you do it, when you take a picture at the end, they'll mm -hmm. see it. Yep. The other side is a building, and on the top it says, Cast us not off in our old age. They're talking about me and you, Sim. <laughs> um, hey. Home for aged and dependent members. Dedicated June 12, 1938, Collegeville, PA. Brith Shalom, originated 1905. A very cool piece. I'm thinking it's the 30s then. Yes. I'll I take agree. that. I'm going to clean this up. You'll see a picture of it after this, but I'm going to put this one away. Very and we're nice going to keep relic. on going. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Cindy just came up with a key, and I think it's semi old. Uh, it says GM on it. It's a small key, but the shape of the, the head of the key tells me it's probably an older car key. That's my guess. Yeah. Still a nice find. Okay. Good deal. All right, guys, my next target is an old spoon. Pretty cool. I not found one in a while. It's got a nice little design on it. There you go. I'll take it. All right, guys, I found a couple old nickels here so far, 1970S, and uh, this one here, Another Jefferson, 1948. 1948, so fairly old. Let's keep going. Okay, Cindy, I just dug this one up. Look at this key. Oh, wow. Is that interesting or what? That's yeah. the number eight on it. B. 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 Oh, yeah, it is B. Look at the crown on the top, though. It's got it's like a so little different. crown or something. Wow. That's neat. That is really neat. I'll have to look for that one online. I'm not sure what it is. I'm, I mean, I, judging by the way it looks, it's just a house key or something or key to a building. Nothing fancy on this side, but this Here. side looks pretty cool the way You're it's shaped. Some awesome wallets. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yep. All right, let's keep going. Comes up as a dime. Yeah. I like oh, it's a junk of metal. Oh. Wait a minute. There's a face in there. Oh man, it's a bust of something. It is. That's cool. Oh my gosh. He put some water on his face. So originally I didn't. I didn't want to. Uh, it's heavy. I'm like. It's heavy. It's like uh, I don't know what's made out of, but it's it's heavy. Who is it? Grant Custer? Is it a lady? Looks, Looks like, like a custard. Guy. Custard? Like ice cream? No. Me custard. Custard. Nah, he's got a like a farmer's hat on. Isn't that funny? I don't know if it's Good got thing a, I didn't just I think put it's a lady cuz look. Look at the hairline under the hat under the hat. See it? It looks like a lady. Oh no, there might be a Is this a shirt and tie? Right, if I use Where's them, the Where's use... those puddles when you need them? Yeah, that's all right. No more. I'm not sure. We'll clean that one up. That's pretty cool. 
He looked like he has a mustache. Yeah. Well, some women back then had a mustache, didn't they? Back in the day. Cool. <laughs> no <I've>... comment. <laughs> I have never found a, a bus. That's pretty cool. Very cool. All right. Awesome. All right. I found myself a horsey. I thought it was a piece of junk, but that's pretty cool looking. I wonder what it's from. Oh, it's a pin. It's a horsey pin. Oh, that's cool. It's a horsey pin. There's the pin in the back. That's pretty wild. You don't think it's silver, do you? No. Mm, I don't think so, but you never know. Oh I my really gosh. don't think so. He's a little too small for my Colonel Custer to sit on him. He ain't riding this one. All right. Well, that's a neat little find. Hmm. Very okay. cool. Wow. I'll, I'm going to put this in the bag. I'll look at it later, clean it up, and probably looks like it might clean up pretty good. But we'll put it in the bag and we'll check it out later. Let's Anything? keep going, Sin. Right. Look at this one, Sin. What do you think? Oh, a crudo bell. That's a big one. Too bad wow. it's broken. Ten inches down. I said this thing's big. Maybe it's a pot of gold, right? Oh man. Could have been a buried uh, chest. Big part, exactly. That's why I kept digging. Wow. So it's a big piece of a big crotobel. It's been a while since we got a crotobel. Yeah. Bell. You don't find Pretty them that strong. big. Alright guys, my next target. A beautifully intact piece of porcelain from a, a mason jar. Trying to see the word on there. Something, something dine. Glendine or something like that. Okay. I'll have to look at that later, but nice piece. All intact. Hard to find them like that. All right, let's keep going. A modern watch. Cindy, That's you better right. watch yourself. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, a little watch. All right. Too bad it wasn't a pocket watch. Keep going. Water We resistant. don't have time for this, Cindy. <laughs> okay, guys, cranking out the relics today. I think this is part of a utensil. I'm not sure. That looks kind of odd, though. This could be something else, but I don't know what it is. Okay, let's keep going. All right, guys, my next target is a rose tag. It says uh, hybrid to Tropicana, and that's not. Uh, I'm not. I don't mean Ricky and Lucy's uh, nightclub, the Tropicana. This is a rose tag, Tropicana. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, I had a good signal here. It was a half dollar signal, and uh, to my surprise. It looks like an old silver spoon. All silver. And if that's not silver, I'll eat my hat. Has some wear on it, but it's... Tch, that's silver. Ain't no doubt. No doubt about it. Alright, let's put that one away. We'll show it to you later. All right, my next find, guys, is a uh, some piece of something. It's got a hole in the top there, and it is kind of brittle, so I'm not going to mess with it too much. I had one tiny piece already break off. I don't see anything on it, so I'm thinking this could be maybe it's the inside of a clock part, pocket watch. I don't see anything on it, so I'll put this one away and I'll just keep rolling. All right, guys, my next target. Here we go. Yes, it is. It's a Hot Wheels. Pretty mangled. But I cleaned the bottom off there. It says Hot Wheels. It says 
Peeping Bomb, 1969 Mattel. That's a nice one. It's a keeper. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Cindy, you got a... Belt buckle. A buckle. Oh, buckle, yes. I don't know if it was to a belt, but it's a buckle with it an is. iron iron tongue and yep. brass buckle. Very cool. cool. Another buckle. Okay, guys, I found a really nice uh, crotobel, and that is an interesting shape. I've never found one quite like that. It's got a flattish bottom to it. That's pretty cool. I've never found one like that. Ringing up nice. Like a real nice penny or something, you know? And it's solid. It's got lots of dirt in it. That's a beauty. I'll take it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, guys, this one here thought it was going to be junk. And look at the pattern on that. I don't know if that's a shield or what, but I'm going to come back with this when I see Cindy, when I hook up with her. She's off on another part, but uh, we're going to come back to this and take a look at it. I want her to look at this. I can't, I don't know what it is, but it definitely is, uh, it symbolizes something. So. All right, we'll get back to this later. Okay, guys, my next find is pretty cool. It looks like a little uh, license plate for a kid's bike or something. It says powered by, it says DDY, on the bottom, can't quite make out what it says on the bottom. And there's some kind of little guy there on the left standing there. I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to clean this one up and see uh, exactly what this is too. But that's really nice. A little miniature license plate. All right. Stay tuned. All right, guys, my next find, and it's a good one, is an entire thimble. Probably an advertising thimble. It's nothing great. And I'm sure there's some lettering on it. I, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure there's some lettering on it, but you can tell it's a thimble. We'll check that one out later, but that's pretty darn cool. I love finding these things. These are pretty nice. All right, we'll put this in the bag. Cindy's going to kill me. I'm just killing it out here. All right, let's keep going. Okay, Cindy's got a couple finds here oh, she's going to show me. Too. She's got another. she got a porcelain like me. You got sure that? you didn't? Did you steal this from me when I wasn't uh, looking? No. Come on. Yes, this, you were. I don't know if that's you a stole handle. stole this thing. Nah. No, that's not it's a It's got handle. a number five on the end of it. You know that. Huh. See, doesn't it have a number five on the end? Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just some sort of marker. And a buckle. A buckle. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a heavy duty and one, huh? Look at that. Two Wheaties. And two Wheats. Did you get the dates off this of it This one's a 1950-something. Yeah. This one, I don't know. And I have a coin that I don't know either. It's pretty toasted. Could be Indian head, but it's okay. toast. Oh, right, there you go. The oh, I was going to put them in my bag. You could. <laughs> Here, I'll keep your crota bell. <laughs> hey, how'd you get that? What are you, some kind of magician? Okay. All right. So, that's what i gotten so far. All right. It's been tough. Yeah, I'm getting bit up. i got to go put some bug spray on. All right. See you in a bit. That's a weird find right there. I huh? found a swordfish. 
the heck is? I don't know where that came from. Isn't that the weirdest thing? That I'm is brush them up. Huh. It don't was know. on something. I don't know what. It was. Uh, oh, a pin. There you go. There's the back. That's like the second or third pin we found. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Different. All right. Nice, then. Nice.